All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. And today is a red day. Super frustrating. I'm going to go over what I did, what I did wrong, and what I should not do. Okay. It's always easier after we trade and have these stupid days, um, you know, where we look back and say, what were you thinking? That made no sense. Why did you do that? Um, and then you're getting out of positions right before the move happens. You're selling at the uh, top, but you're really uh, short. So it's just a mess, a mess. I'm on Weeble here and I'm scalping options. Okay. It's a good platform because it's cheap. All right. It's very cheap to uh, trade options on. So if you do have a small account, um, if you're worried about commissions that some of the other ones charge, this is a good platform for you guys. Um, so anyway, there is a couple of things though that you have to be aware of. And I'm just going to get into that first. Before I go into any trading, look at this VWAP. That's not the way VWAP is supposed to look, this yellow line. And this is the one minute chart. So let me just make this bigger. Hang on a second. And bear with me because I'm, uh, I like think or swim charts a lot better. So I haven't really mastered uh, these charts yet. So this is VWAP right here. Everybody that knows and watches uh, the volume weighted average price knows that it doesn't look like this. Now this is Weeble. They start from the open, they end at the close of that trading day. That's why it looks like this. But we need to know where VWAP is because that's where all the other traders um, are looking at it. So right here, it says 364.97. Right now, that's what VWAP is. If we go over to my thinkorswim, we'll find out where the real VWAP is. It's right here at 366.09. This is the way VWAP is supposed to look. You can see it's support. It's resistance, it's support. If you don't have this on your chart or know where VWAP is, you're kind of trading blind. So if you are trading with Weeble, you need to know their VWAP is not the same as the VWAP on uh, other platforms. Very important to know that. So if there's one thing you take away from this video is understand that. <laughs> Because that is definitely something that in my trading, I need to know where this is. I need to know where those bounces are, where those uh, rejections are going to be. So this does me no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take VWAP off. All right. Because that is not going to help me at all. So what did I do today? Why did I have a, a red day? And what did I do that was really, really silly? So if we look at this on the 30 minute chart, the SPY, we were gapping up right here in the pre-market and we were gapping up really, really big. And right into the open, we were even gapping up even more. So when we've seen this in the past, when we've seen gap ups, we've come on down. All right. When we've seen these gap ups um, in the pre-market, a lot of times we will see uh, that go the opposite way when the market opens. So these are the pre-market, the shaded area. That's the pre-market. So we come up, we open, we sell off. This has been a common occurrence uh, basically for a while now. We haven't seen this continuation that we're seeing today, which is good. This is a nice sign. I mean, the market's up a lot, um, but usually we will see a little bit of a pullback. What I did, what my mistake was, and if we go back to the one minute chart, man, this is all clunky. There we go. That's a little bit easier. So we're gapping up, right? All through pre-market, making higher highs, higher lows. What do I do right off of the bat? I get in to a short. So I'm 
betting that the market is going to realize how overbought the RSI is at this point and at least get a pullback. That's all I was looking for was a pullback to this 361 area. Um, and we didn't get it. Instead, we ripped up higher, came back down, ripped up higher. I get out of my puts because I was adding into this averaging in like an idiot, like a brand new trader would be doing and then sold right here at the top. Yeah, really, really great trading. So what I'm going to do and what is usually in my rules is not to trade the first 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes of the day can be a little bit tricky. Um, you know, this was clean. I mean, this was just an extension off the pre-market. It was very clean. But what we were going up into was resistance. And that's what I thought we were going to see even more of. So if we do this and take a look at this, we're gapping up right into this area right here of resistance. So I was playing for a little bit of a pullback, but I got a terrible entry. Right here is where I started to add. By that time, I'm already in the red and I can't hold a uh, losers for that long, especially when you're trading same day options. Now, I don't recommend if you're a new trader to trade same day options. Uh, the moves are really, really big. Look at this just popping back up. So anyway, the market, it's looking good. Uh, my trading today, not looking good at all. Um, and that's basically it. So what am I going to take away from this day? Is not to trade the open, wait until a pattern forms. And that brings me to my last trade that I made, which was decent. I still left a lot of money on the table. I should have gotten out of this way earlier, but when you're down, you tend to hold those winners longer because you're trying to get the money back that you lost. So right here, to me, this is a clear head and shoulders pattern that was forming here on the one minute. It was forming here on the five minute also, but it's easier to see here. You have a shoulder, you have a head, you have another shoulder, and this is where I got in short and got and participated in this move down. So this was a good trade. Like I said though, did not get a good um, good timing on my exit, which I should have taken here. It ended up popping back up against me. I was still in the profit and then it comes back down. So it's just one of those days, just a very frustrating day, but you have to wait and be patient for a pattern or a setup to happen. If you're trading off the open, like I did this morning, that's more of a gamble. Just because the market was up a lot doesn't mean that it can't keep going up. Um, so that's really uh, the mistake that I made here today. So I hope that you enjoyed this. It's hard to make the red day recaps, obviously, um, but hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll see you back on the next one. Take care, guys.